Hi, my name is Tegan. I'm one of the owners here at Jacobs Trading. Today we're going to be talking about fake crystals and why that might not always be the case. So the first thing we're going to cover is items that are dyed. So as an example, we're going to look at dyed agate. So these both have been dyed a pink and a blue. If you want to compare, this is what a natural agate should look like. So you're going to get more of those subtle undertones, more um, mute colors, whereas when they're dyed, they're gonna be a much more rich color that you wouldn't expect. So agate never comes in nice rich blue or bright pink. So these ones have been dyed. That being said, just because a stone is dyed, it doesn't make it fake or wrong in any way. It's just color enhanced. So you can kind of think of it like dyeing your hair. If you dye your hair, it all of a sudden doesn't make you wear a wig where you're wearing fake hair. Your hair is still your hair, it's just a fun bright color. So metaphysically and geologically, there's nothing different between these stones other than the color. Also on the colored note, there are also stones out there that are plated. So this one, we got the rainbow titanium quartz, we got the aqua aura, the blue flame aura. These are all quartz points that have been plated with a metal. So once again, just because it's been plated doesn't detract from the fact that it's still a quartz point underneath. So essentially what it is, it's kind of like putting makeup on. So they got a little bit of titanium makeup on, this one's got some gold makeup on. So there's lots of different metals that are used in the plating process. And metaphysically, this is just adding to your stone. So this is actually adding more properties to that quartz. Now we're going to talk about heat treating and irradiation processes. So what I'm holding here is a natural citrine point. So this one occurred in nature, just in this color. What's behind me here is what is called heat treated amethyst. So when they take amethyst, they heat treat it, it becomes this wonderful citrine color. This color of citrine has actually been the industry standard since the 1960s. So just to compare the colors for you, this one is the heat treated, which is more of into it, or almost an orangey kind of tone. This is the natural citrine, which is more of a smoky champagne kind of color. So the more champagne color is what's normally called natural citrine, and this is because it does occur naturally in nature, but the process can take hundreds to if not thousands of years to occur. So the price point you're going to see on a natural citrine is much, much higher. In order to combat this price, that's why we do the artificial heating in order to get you a more better price pointed citrine. So comparatively, if this was a heat treated citrine in this size, it'd be like about $100, $150. This piece specifically is actually $500. Chemically though, the stone is identical. So the properties don't change simply because it's been heat treated by us versus nature. It's still identical. Now we're going to talk about lab created stones. So a lot of people think of lab created as just once again fake, but it's actually the identical mineral. So if you take a raw ruby and a lab grown ruby, chemically and structurally on the inside, the crystal is absolutely identical. Other than when you lab create it, you get once again a much more budget friendly option, but you're going to get perfect clarity. So it's grown in perfect conditions for the crystal, whereas finding a perfectly crisp, clear, beautiful color ruby in nature is one in a million. So it's a lot harder to find. So lab creation actually fills a void on a lot of very expensive crystals like rubies, emeralds, sapphires, and even diamonds. Now we're going to talk about misidentified crystals. So sometimes you might be sold something as something else. So once again, this doesn't mean that it's a fake crystal. Unfortunately, it's misidentified, so you got the wrong crystal. Um, so this is where it's good to do your research and know what you're actually looking at. But here's a couple com common ones that a lot of times are misidentified and missold. And sometimes the seller might not even realize it themselves because unfortunately things sometimes are sold to them that way. We're going to start with, this is just howlite. We have white howlite and blue howlite. This has been dyed. A lot of times this is sold to people as turquoise. So it's a much brighter, sharper color than natural turquoise. Turquoise. Think of turquoise normally as a more powdery soft color. Um, when you're looking for this, try not to find ones that have that rich color. How light, as a good identification, has these wonderful little gray veins in it. Turquoise doesn't. So this is a good way to help you learn to look between the two. Um, once again on that note though, if you are sold one of these as turquoise and you now realize you actually have howlite, that doesn't mean you don't have a stone. Howlite actually has beautiful qualities and so you just need to now embrace it as a howlite instead. 
The next one that we have is actually a Venturine. So this is green Venturine. It's actually commonly sold as jade. So jade is a very sought after expensive stone. So unfortunately as such, a lot of people like it to rip it off and sell it as something cheaper material. Once again, a Venturine is a wonderful stone. I love a Venturine, but it's not jade. So what you're gonna be looking for is when you're looking deep into the stone, it's almost kind of sparkly and crystally on the inside. That's how you're gonna know it's an aventurine. Jade is much more solid structured on the inside. You're not gonna see tiny little crystals and flecks inside of there. But once again, just because you got an aventurine instead of an actual jade, doesn't mean it's a fake crystal. It's just not a jade. Now, if you wanna talk about actually fake crystals, this is a fake crystal. He's a fun little piece. He's just an adorable little elephant, but it is not real malachite. This is made of resin. So if you want to talk fake, this is fake. Now to show you some real malachite. If you want to see the difference, feel it. Malachite is a stone, so it's going to be cool to the touch. Resin is going to be warmer and much lighter. That's all we have for you today, guys. If you have any questions please feel free to drop it below in the comments if you have anything that in person that you want to show us you're welcome to come down to 1600 Regent Avenue West in Winnipeg Manitoba and we'll let you know what you have if you like what you saw on our channel here we do cover lots of different topics so be sure to hit that like button and follow us we also have a wonderful online store if you want to check it out if you're not local to us have a great rest of your day guys